Hello again, I am Rahana and we are playing more of Gakko in Heaven 2. This time we are starting the secret character route, which is Professor Sakaki's story. Um, by the time you get to the point in the game where you can actually play his route, it's pretty obvious that he is the secret character for several reasons. First, because as you play through the game, it, it becomes pretty obvious that he has a hand in everything that's going on at the school, a little bit behind the scenes there. And his involvement is, is pretty obvious, but the reasons for it are not explained. So there's that. And then there's also a bit of an interface spoiler in the game itself. Um, I've seen a, It's been a long time since I've seen the game screen as it looks when you first install it. So this tab here actually looks like it's a bunch of question marks when you first install the game, so you can't even access it. And this is where all the the really special things for this game are kept. So this one, the extra tab, has all the usual extras for visual novel type games. So it has the CGs and the scene list and the, the music, the ending list and all that kind of stuff. But under here are all the, the things that are very specific to this game. And once you unlock, I guess, one thing in here, then all the tabs become available, even though there's there may not be any content under them. So this is where you would go to see the things about Keita and his his person if you get the different keys and then there's some bonus scenes that you can only unlock once you finish everything else in the game. After you complete a character and get all their endings you can see something that's like a monologue of their thoughts about what happened at a certain point during the game. And this one over here is Professor Sakaki's circumstances which is sitting out there just kind of waiting for you to click on it and similar to the the omake button in the original gakko in heaven if you click on it you can access it but you you basically get told off and told hey you're not ready to see what's in here yet why don't you go and find out a little more and come back when you're ready so that's that's what will happen if you try to get into here before you're ready even though it looks like you can you you actually can't so Let's see. Other things to note, um, he has two endings. Uh, they're very similar. One, well, I, I guess I really shouldn't even say what the difference is. But basically, one is the same as the other with some content removed. So we're going to do the full ending. And um, when you play through here, it's actually from Sakaki's perspective. So you will be in his head. He will be all, I do this and I do that, the same way that Yuki does throughout the game. So you get a different different perspective on everything that goes on here. It's a relatively short character route. There's only, I believe, four decision points. And I think only one of them affects the ending. But um, even though it's short, there is a lot of information packed in here. So it's it's pretty text heavy. There's a lot of stuff going on. And it's really interesting, and you know, it's it's my favorite, my favorite character. He's my favorite character because of a lot of the stuff that gets revealed in here. So I guess the best way to to get into this is to just get started. And you can't see it because I'm I'm capturing the inside of the window and not the window frame, but. The date here is June 21st, so it's the day after um, Yuki and whoever win the bell won. So that's that's also the, the day after Tomo's birthday. And um, it'll be, it'd be good to remember the things that happened in, in Tomo's route as you go through here. But even if you, you don't remember, Sakaki will hopefully recap everything in excruciating detail. So part of this first video is going to be a little bit boring because he really just goes through everything that we already know. I guess for people who had a long gap between finishing Tomo's route and coming into here. But yeah, it's the end of, end of class. So all right, that's it for class today. <sighs> well, that was tiring. Good job, so there's just random students. Yep. Uh, oh no, I'm preparing the court today, so I guess some sort of uh, kind of cleanup thing that the students do or prep. 
And don't forget your assignment next week. Hi! Right. <sighs> The usual school scene. The usual days, huh? Jeez, they bounce back so quickly. Just yesterday, they overcame the danger of the school closing. And that Bell won Grand Prix that the whole school was dragged into that started the proposal to close the school. Yesterday's wind signaled the end of that festive like hustle and bustle. And now here's uh, kind of going to launch into an explanation of things we already know, but that's all right. Uh, this BL school is a unique school. The students have the right of self government and bear a portion of the school management. It's a deep connection, and important decisions involving the management of the school are decided by a majority between the board, the director, and the student council president. And it's hardly conceivable that the student council president, as a representative of the students, would normally be given the authority to decide on matters of management. But the second director, following the will of the founder, who respected the independence of the students, established that structure. So that's um, Kazuki he's referring to. And the founder of the school was Kazuki's grandfather. So, um, just a little, little bit of history there. So, um, I'm trying to remember exactly how old the school is. I think about 27 years old or something like Yuki's going to be in the 28th graduating class or I don't know. I, I have a timeline kind of sketched out somewhere. Well, I guess the school would be 27 years old because it was established in 1990. And in, in game, it's 2017. So, there you go. Anyway. And as proof that he has the authority to vote, the student council president, who's called the ace, possesses an armband. And only when he has the armband is he recognized to use his authority. Which I think is a horrible system. Why do they make it so it's bound to the piece of cloth rather than the actual person? But of course, this game wouldn't have had its big conflict without that odd little plot point, so that's why it's like that. And on the other hand, the Sakaki group, who holds substantial influence on the current board, proposed to close the school. I was sent to this school as a representative of the Sakaki group, and I ordered the student Sonora to steal the armband. Stealing the student council president's authority to vote was to try and force through the proposal to close the school that was presented by the board. But the students who objected to that proposed to hold the Bell One Grand Prix. And so Asahina, who won the Bell One and proved that he was qualified to be the student council president, formally got back the armband. At the board meeting that happened afterward, the student council president and the director declared their opposition and the proposal to close the school was formally rejected. So we know for sure that the school is safe now. And so, since I wasn't able to force through the proposal, I'll probably have to take responsibility in some form. Since I only assumed the position of assistant director to push the interests of the Sakaki group, it's only natural. So just as I kind of hinted at the end of Sonoda's route that, you know, Sakaki was kind of on the side of the students, but there's, there's going to be consequences for that. Hmm. That's time. I guess I'll go. I guess I'll go. And scene change to the assistant director's office. I don't know if, have we seen this before in my previous Let's Plays, I'm not sure. But this this is actually Sakaki's office, so let's take a quick look at the background here. Got some nice uncomfortable looking seating and a big desk. It kind of reminds you of a conference room almost with that weird kind of empty shelf space behind the actual desk. Some places I worked have had weird conference rooms like that. And I think that door you can barely see behind his shoulder leads to the actual boardroom, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, come in. And here's Tomo, excuse me. 
Good job at the board meeting. You safely voted down the proposal to close the school. Right. So I entrust the school to you from now on. But the rest of it. You mean my dismissal as assistant director? Yes, I wasn't strong enough, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? That wasn't your responsibility. But. Well, it was so much of a mess, not everything could go back to the way it was before. It couldn't be helped that someone had to take responsibility. Just that you kept me as a teacher was plenty to fulfill your duty as director. So it seems like Sakaki's not too ruffled by this. He obviously expected some sort of retaliation, and this is possibly a bit better than he expected. Uh, also note that as long as he's able to teach, he seems to be pretty happy with the situation. In fact, he's actually smiling for once, which is a little odd. And besides, my dismissal is deferred a full week. With this matter, the intentions of the Sakaki group side on the board have been made clear. So with all their messing with the school, it's pretty obvious what their intentions are, and they're not good. Probably the next selection of board members will be rough. From now on, someone who is prejudiced against the existence of the school won't be selected. Ah. Yeah. The Sakaki group won't be able to avoid a loss of influence on the board. So in a way, it's, it's kind of a good thing because it revealed the group's intention that it was not a good thing. They were not trying to do things for any good reason except to promote their own interests. So at least that has come out into the light now and... Next time that the board is, is changed up, things will probably settle down a bit and it will be less stressful for everyone involved. So the school won't be in as much danger and uh, Tomo won't have all that pressure on him and all these other things. Um, of course, there's always a little back and forth between the director and the board of directors. There just seems to have always been that that way because the director seems to be a person who wants to expand the school, do more things, spend more money on the students, and the board is kind of there to be like, whoa, 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 hold up a bit and, and be the actual voice of a business or businesses that are involved in the school and say, you know, let's be realistic, we can't do this, profits, blah, 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 all that other kind of good stuff. But it looks like at least once the board is replaced, it'll be back to that kind of corporate pressure as opposed to we're crazy people who want you to hack the system and destroy research data kind of problem はい。だが理事会が入れ替わるまでは坂木グループの息のかかった連中の中で運営しなくてはならない。And here's the issue. But until the board is replaced, you have to manage in the middle of a lot affiliated with the Sakaki group. In that time, I can't deny the possibility that the Sakaki group side will take new measures. Right, since their aim isn't really to close the school. And as for that, I have a plan. If possible, I'd like your help. What is it? Whether I help or not depends on what it is. 
いくら会議室で話し合いや根回しをしても今回のような件はまた起こりかねないと思います No matter how much we talk in the meeting room or work on it behind the scenes, I think something like before might happen again. And that's also something that was discussed at the end of Tomo's route that, yeah, there's. They've been thwarted this time, but what happens next? So actually, we're, we're kind of backing up a little bit to before the end of Tomo's route. So we're getting a little bit of overlap here. This is what's happening immediately after the Bell One win. So, this is kind of the plan being formed. We're, we're actually seeing the formation of the plan that was used to get the Sakaki group to agree to keep their hands off the school. So,、um, that's why it makes sense that you, know, you have to obviously play Tomo's route to get here because otherwise this won't make any sense at all. You'll be like, what, what are they talking about? This is the plan for their kind of counterattack that they, they use to, to get everybody to, to leave the school alone. So, as, as we progress through this, we'll, we'll get to the point where it actually matches up, and then it'll go a little bit beyond that. So, this, this,、um, this short character does go a little bit beyond most of the others. So, that's right. So, that's right. So, that's right. So, that's right. この学園に手を出さない方がいいと分からせる必要がある。So we need to let the adults know more clearly that it's better to keep their hands off the school. そのために今度はこちらから仕掛けようかと。And this time I thought we'll attack. 具体的にはどうするつもりなんだ ?So what specifically do you intend to do? 榊グループの使用しているネットワークをクラッキングして乗っ取ります。I'll hack into the network the Sakaki group uses and hijack it. そしてそれを人質に二度とこの学園に手を出さないよう約束させる。And using it as a hostage, I'll make them promise to never touch the school again. お前にしてはなかなか過激な提案だ。That's a pretty extreme plan for you. 最初は榊製薬の研究データを潰そうかと思ってたんですけどね。At first, I thought I would destroy the research data of Sakaki Pharmaceuticals. さすがに。それをやったら相手を非難できなくなるので。Of course, if I did that, I'd be a hypocrite. 確かに、ある程度の効果は見込めるだろう。I'm sure they'd be expecting that sort of outcome. だが、いいのか But is that really、okay? 何がです What is? これはイリーガルな方法だ。お前は以前。That's an illegal method, and before you kind of trailing off here. 正直に言えば、俺だって。こんな手段は取りたくないです。Yeah, so obviously, Sakaki knows about Tomo's history with the, the bad adoption and the hacking and the stealing of information that he was forced to do. And Tomo s saying, to be honest, I don't want to take such measures. So, of course, he doesn't want to do that again. It's the, the memory of all those bad things, and you know, he knows it's wrong. He doesn't want to do that. でも、勇気や学園のみんなが。この学園の存続のためにあんなに頑張ってくれたんです。But Yuki and everyone at the school worked so hard、uh, for the school to be able to survive. これもこのくらいのリスクを犯す覚悟をしないといけないと思うんです。I think I have to be prepared to take at least this much risk. 何より俺個人の力で大人に対抗できそうなことってこれくらいしか思いつかなかったんで。More than anything, this was the only thing I could think of to resist the adults with my own strength. So, I see. おそらく実行すれば他方面に迷惑がかかる可能性があります。It's possible that if I implement this, it will cause all sorts of trouble. ですから、榊先生にはその後のフォローをお願いしたいんです。So, I'd like you to back me up afterwards. Apparently, he's serious. In the past, Kasahara's hacking ability was used to commit a crime by his adoptive family. And although he didn't do it of his own volition, he wouldn't want to use that ability, which caused him such misfortune. He's probably pretty determined if he's gone so far as to choose this measure. Does this mean he's grown enough to have this kind of determination compared to that time? And I'm going to stop here because there's a 
actually a pretty long flashback scene that starts right here. So that is our introduction, and it's not really all that much different from what we've seen before. It's, it's really mostly a summary of just the Bell one in general, that first part with Sakaki after class, and then here in his office talking to Tomo um, about the setup of what happens in Tomo's ending. So a bit of a soft intro here to everything, but um, as it continues, we'll, we'll get a little bit more. And this, this flashback will be the first nice piece of extra information that we get from Sakaki about Tomo. Um, and instead of me just kind of rambling on, I'm going to, to stop here and just start recording the next one. So uh, please check back next time. I think you'll find the next one quite enjoyable, especially if you are a fan of the original game and Kazuki in particular. So I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.